Yo yo, welcome everyone to a brand new video today. It's time for WOR and this is the first race of a new season. We are racing around Brazil and this is tier 1. So um, this is all this also has a full qualifying. So um, this is Q1 doing our first lap time here but there is an Alpine in front of us oh, it's distracted us a little uh, bit give there me slipstream then man but um, fortunately he didn't Fuck give us slip that. slipstream yeah, but uh, for now a 17350 which was a decent lap and I wasn't confident enough going through, so we're doing another lap. We were in B9 at the moment, and this grid is pretty good. Um, I think over half, over half of the grid is an esports driver as well, so they're doing the F1 esports series. And um, yeah, that just requires a good lap in the qualifying sessions. So um, now through the middle sector we go. Pretty uh, hard on traction sometimes with the uphill downhill corners. Now this corner is flat out and then only one corner to go. And we are 1.8 tens up on Luke Smith in P8. Easy. So like I said, mm. easy through. Should be easy. What a lap. Pretty good lap. Is it? Is it pole? Or at least close? Yeah, B3. So I was actually surprised by that lap because we managed to get B3 in Q1. Only yeah. three tenths up on Nicolas Longe. So it's Will Lewis. So it's Liam, Tom Manley, oh, Bianca Lila, Matthijs van Erven, and Will Lewis who are out in Q1. So uh, yeah, that gave me quite a confidence so boost. you also were at the um, sort of massive party like yesterday and until this morning <laughs> oh I forgot the few oh <laughs> man why do I have a skill issue so as you can hear um, I was talking about the few and there is a glitch in this F1 game. Uh, if you go from Q1 to Q2, you get um, like 6 or 7 kg fuel in the car. And it basically makes it a bit too heavy to get a really good lap in. So, uh, what I did is save those tires and try to get through Q2 on one set of tires. So, we have. Um, two fresh sets of tires uh, for Q3 so now we're doing a lap time and I don't think what our delta was so pretty hard to uh, say on what kind of lap we are we can see it on the top left and top right uh, we are on 0.601 split which was only a I couple of so. thousands quicker than Philip in P11 and we need to get top 10 so this will be very hard now we're gonna cross the line and it is for now P7 so this is gonna be close <sighs> if we get through yes or no and we did it just about missed it in P12. I think it was only a couple hundreds of a second, but um, yeah, P12 just about missed Q3 here. Uh, very unfortunate after in Q1 being pretty confident. So um, yeah, it is what it is. So um, only Q3 standings. I will show you guys shortly. Uh, there you go. So it's Thomas in P1, Joshi Doe P2, and Alvaro, Alvaro Caraton in P3. So uh, that's the qualifying, and let's head into the race. Thanks Here we are, then, as you can see in the top, it's gonna be dry all the way throughout. Starting on our tires and to pit to the mediums, as basically every race in this game. So now, lights are on, five red lights. 
And away we go. And seems like our start is alright. Trying to get past Boualemir, who's in the McLaren ahead of us. Cars going four wide, going into turn one. Slightly tap the rear of the Alpine there, and going around the outside of Boualem. So ah, that's one cramp position game. Fuck. But now we had an issue. I had cramp <laughs> in my toe. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you guys were only struggling a bit there in the first lap. Ah, cramp. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. So, uh, that wasn't make it, uh, didn't make it a bit easy, but, uh... Hahaha, <laughs> ho ho, Thijs, help! What is? My toe, man, I got cramp! Ah, ha ha ho! I even fix that. Mm, I don't know. Oh, no, if I do this whole race, now I'm gonna be dead. It's my I'll right. I'll try to move on the straight or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I'm gonna accelerate with left now. Alright, here we go. Alright, stretching a, a bit. Come on, go away. Alright, right foot again. Here we go. Are they better? I hope so. So, that was lap one. And uh, that was quite a challenge, to be honest. For now, lap six, still in P10. And look at the Alpine in P8 of Rupert Drenio. He's spinning oh. around. <laughs> Ruben just spun on his own. You're joking. He just spun on his own there, which is weird to see, to be honest. Um, in these oh, kind Max, of races. Max, you gotta push now. Like I said, Max really has to push now to close the gap to get the arrest. Draining again. Draining the battery, man. Come on. Hey, Bulan, stay there. So, um... Of course, Ruben is spun, so now there's a gap between Max Wieser and Fabrizio, and he has to close that. Yeah, Use quite good. a bit of ERS, and pr we uh, probably need to use some as well. Then tell me you have it, Max. I think you did. Oh, yeah. yeah, he has it. What a legend! <laughs> oh, oh, now he's gonna drop it again. So yeah, Max Wieser. At the moment, a very low on ERS. As you can see, it's flashing. We are still around 60% ERS, so we are good at the moment. But, um, yep. lap 11, he is out of it again. He was, the laps before, constantly around uh, 9 tenths, so just about in it. But I think he made a slight mis mistake in uh, lap 11 and just lost it. So uh, now we need to get past, and uh, we were at like 50 or 60 percent ERS, and now we basically need to drain the whole battery to get the DRS again. If at the moment 9 tenths, and now also on the main straight 9 tenths is the gap, but we are flashing as you can see. We were we were below 10 percent, but now in lap 18 we managed to save a bit. We're gonna dive into the pits here. We're gonna break just in time, but I can't take this game yep. serious. Yeah, I'm so done. So as you can see, we're getting a new front wing, and now I'll show you guys what happened. We're breaking just in time. You can see my uh, speed. I was breaking in time, but still slightly a step, and you just get such insane damage. Love it, fucking love it. So, yeah, Philip Preshnade was ahead of us. He just broke a bit I'm earlier than us, yeah. and uh, I didn't expect that. The gap was around six tenths or six and a half tenths, so didn't expect to get so close to him. But. Um, yeah, it is what it is. We got damage and then also forgot to time the sort of pit box entry. We didn't time it because I was a bit frustrated. And um, yeah, just uh, just annoying. But it is what it is for now. P16 uh, just made the move for Manuel Bianchi on lap 22, but now lap 35. Uh, we are in P14, I think it was Fabrizio who disconnected. And yeah, basically nothing happened until then. 
But now we are going into the final lap and these cars had were pushing quite a bit of ERS already in the laps before. Even though Mirk has an 8 second penalty he still wants to get the track position so uh, good mentality I would say. No. I was just uh, playing the final straight strategy. Just saving around 50% ERS for the final straight and then use it. Because if I'm using it at the moment I'm not going to get past anyway. Because they are draining their batteries as well. And especially in the middle sector it is just very hard to overtake. So now as you can see Mirko flashing, Ruben flashing as well. And Ruben has a bit of a gap to the car ahead of him. And that means that his slipstream won't be as powerful as Mirko's and mine's. So now trying to get close using a bit of ERS. Fourth gear for the final corner. And now right, here we go. we're going to try to still get past. Hopefully also getting past Ruben. But it seems like we can only get past Mirko here. Oh, only Mirko. And that's P11. P11 of course. P11. And that's just just about annoying, you know. I mean, we just about out in Q2, and then just about no points in the race. That's just uh, just annoying. I mean, still kept it clean until the end. Just annoying about the the wing damage we got, because now Philip finished sixth, and I think we could have been right with him. But um, yeah, this was the race, at least for WR, the first race. Next week will be Kota, so hope to see you guys there. And yeah, see you guys next Wait. time.